to e-mart in Korea just to uh, show you around about like their prices, their items or whatnot. So it's really interesting. I guess you just bring your own bottle and refill it. I guess I'm gonna try this next time. I think they have some frozen vegetables for you to use, which is pretty convenient. I haven't really tried. I know this is pretty convenient. People say you can just like keep this ginger in a package and just take out whatever you need. Fruits are not too cheap. Avocados are very expensive in Korea. And oh, they have durian. Not sure if frozen durians are good, but yep. I think I'm going to use this one. This one is $5.98. Vegetables, it's kind of small. It's on sale. But I need a lot, so maybe I'll take this one. relatively very expensive so you can just expect the high prices on them wow nine thousand ten dollars a box so expensive let's go see let's shine this kit great oh my goodness it's so expensive right how is this eight dollars oh my goodness Eight dollars for two mangoes. No way. Avocados in Korea are just extremely expensive. They're four for thirteen eight hundred. Nope. Get some eggs. Eggs are not too bad. Hmm. Let's see. This for that price. I'm not going to get this one. It's so much cheaper. Can I carry this one? I haven't really tried sushi from like a grocery store, but even next time I'll give it a try. The price is uh, not too bad. It's $10 for, uh, okay, shrimp and some other fish. It's kind of like an Emart brand that produces food at relatively cheaper prices. So I think this hamgipsar is supposed to be a little cheap. Right. It's around 12 I've tried this before, but to be honest, the quality isn't that bad. So I will probably not. Let's go for a rice. I don't really know what they are. I don't really eat them, so... 
And I want to say they're relatively like 45, 43, 36, 42. Oh, the, that one seems to have gone pretty quickly because it's pretty cheap. 10 kilograms for around $30. cheaper option it's like a korean spam but to be honest it does not taste like spam and i do not like it my favorite that's also my favorite Oh, this is like a really big cake. For four dollars, I guess. It's just a regular bag of chips. I wanna say dollar fifty cents ish. Oh my goodness, chocolate. It's a big one. Good for $1.80. God, his marshmallows are so expensive. What? That is crazy. Go to the ramen section. So one bag, there are five ramyuns and I want to say this is around $4. Kind of cheap. Uh, $3 or $3.50 for Tinanya. That. Well, that's really cheap, but I don't really like this one. It's my favorite, which is around $3.50 for five, but I'm not going to get noodles this time because I'm on a diet. And I can just microwave rice without cooking them, which is awesome. No. So recently, Korea has been making a lot of meal kits where it's just kind of like Hello Fresh, I think. I have tried some before, but to be really honest, they're not that good. But uh, let me just show you some. They have like quesadilla. I think this is around like it's on sale for eleven dollars. They have nabe for eighteen dollars. Samjongbor. They have pasta. They have kudachige. I'm not sure if I'm going to try their mara shango. They have kambatsu, they have pad thai, and jajangmyeon for six, seven dollars. Honestly, I would just rather buy from like a restaurant because they're not that good to be honest. We have rosé noodles for how much? Be better. This is around $10. Oh, oh, this is for babies. Oh, it's so expensive. Let's go look at milk. I want to say this is my favorite milk. This is my favorite milk. This one is around $3 for 1,000 ml, which is one liter. For one liter, around three fifty dollars. Big one for five fifty. Mm, I've never seen this before. Oh, it looks so interesting. Maybe I should try like a hot dog here. Uh, if I have an air fryer, I will next time. They have kimagi for six dollars. Uh, I'm not sure if I know how to make that, so I'll pass. Okay, I want to try some gifts there next time, which is for around ten dollars. 
Do they even have like makchang, which is some kind of intestines? Everything's so convenient. They have grinded ginger and garlic. And they have chans. Kimchi chan for maybe $7. Maybe I'll try something like that next time, which is like seven dollars. Mm, Favorite section. Well, they're not that cheap to be honest. So it would be around five dollars, around four dollars. They would be around four dollars in a pack. I think they have around five in a pack. You guys won't believe how expensive Hagen Dazs is. Just one pint is around $15. And that big one is like, I wanna say $25. And it's just like unbelievably expensive. of Emart is called No Brand. It's their um, own brand of food and they're known to have cheaper cheaper op options of food. So their their food and items are relatively cheaper. So for example, uh, when you look at this yogurt, it's only two dollars or two thirty cents I guess. And it's very cheap and very affordable. So people come here for a more affordable selection. Um, this is pretty this is pretty famous. Ch their chocolate chip cookies are very good. Um, they have onion chips, but onion potato chips for a dollar. This is for a dollar. I don't know how much they would sell in American stores because I did look I did see these at H Mart um, in LA and I'm pretty sure they were a little bit more expensive. So everything is relatively cheaper, so much cheaper. This is only like $2. This is also just $2. Karkoksu is around $3.30. Well, I don't really know how good they might be, but I'm just going to for $7. They also have ham, bacon. Their slogan is saying it's not a brand, but something about customers. Ice cream. Cream cheesecake. $10. I'm gonna get this one. Chicken tender. For $6. Papers like that as well. Those are the big ones. Things here too. I'll just try this. It doesn't split because I think it gets Ooh, so heavy. 